Hi, this is Gaw. I have with me here a year 2018 Perodua Asia 1.0 SE edition. Uh, this car comes with, uh, this car actually belongs to Soka car sharing company. So hence, I'm not given the uh, key fob to lock and unlock the car. So uh, for those of you who have the key fobs with you, you can use the key fob to lock and unlock the car. And then uh, on the door, there is also a button like this kind. So from the lock position, just press the button once. Uh, it unlocks only the driver door. And then uh, from lock position, press the button two times to unlock all the door, including the trunk as well. Then there is a key uh, switch. There's a key cylinder down here. This is in case that uh, if the key fob runs for a battery, you can still open the car using the using the using the key cylinder down here. Using the key. Down. Then on the back of the Asia SE, there is a lock and unlock button. So from lock position, press the button once. Uh, it unlocks all the car doors. Then you can open up the trunk and uh, close the back. Then once you do that, press one time, it will lock. Uh, I have not personally tried out this because uh, uh, I do not have Asia SE with me. I, I only have Asia Standard G. Asia Standard G do not come with this uh, this little button at the back. In line with Asia SE, they get a clear rear combination lamp. And then they also get a spoiler. Spoiler with a third brake light in there and you get chrome door handle and then this sort of uh, this pattern of rim and then they also get the uh, skirting um, this new shape of uh, projector headlight for the face lifted Asia SE and advanced and the two uh, grill with the, the grill with the two uh, chrome lining in front okay so for the headlamp you have uh, Projector headlamp, which is H11 bulb. Uh, this one is the high beam. Then you have your position lamp here and the turn signal. Turn signal, I believe, is T20. And then position lamp is T, uh, T10. And then uh, Asia SE and Advanced get the front parking sensor and also the fog lamp. Okay, for the front uh, wheels, Asia gets a, a ventilated disc brake and they get uh, 175 65 uh, 14 inch uh, tires okay so uh, as here se and advanced uh, they usually equipped with hand cook tires so this particular car comes with hand cook uh, kinergy okay so let's have a look at the car on the inside so as here se gets chrome door handle and then the, this one is lock and unlock all the doors. Then you get power window control down here. And the door handle, pocket with the bottle holder. Um, this part here for Asia SE is uh, silver painted. And then Asia SE also do an advanced. Uh, both Asia SE and advanced get silver uh, door handle, chrome, chrome door handle like this. And then they also get uh, window control. Uh, push start button like this and also the front parking sensor on and off so this button turns on turns off the front parking sensor this one starts and this one uh, is an engine start stop button then this one down here uh, is a window control they also get this uh, storage down here all ASEAN get this storage down here and then to open up the hood this is the uh, lever pull this lever to release the hood. Okay, so once you have done that, you can come to the front, locate the Asia badge, uh, locate the Perora badge, put your hand underneath here, and then that's your, uh, that's your boot release. I'm going to pause the video to secure the boot, uh, sorry, to secure the hood. After that, uh, the support bar is normally anchored here, so lift it up and insert in there. Then, uh, brake fluid reservoir. This one is your ABS uh, pump. Then, this is the dipstick to check your engine oil. Engine oil refill. Uh, engine oil filler pot. Then, down here you have your radiator main tanks. 
and then this one here is a reserve tank for the uh, radiator uh, a reserve tank for the radiator so if you need to top out the coolant top up from this one instead this one here is the res uh, washer fluid reservoir okay so it's quite a deep quite a big tank down there and fuse box this as this particular asia se comes with four speed automatic transmission so hence you have a uh, the green color dipstick to check the uh, for you to pull out to check the uh, level of your automatic transmission fluid okay let's close it up and see uh, the inside of this car okay i'm back inside the car uh cars with keyless uh entry so comes with the uh engine start stop button like this so to properly start stop the car foot off the brakes make sure your handbrake is secure okay and the gear is in parking position okay uh, press the button once okay this light blinks the car has entered ACC mode so it is equivalent to uh, turning the ignition key to ACC uh, to, for me for cars with key turn the key to ACC position Okay, so press the button a second time. The rest of the electrical, uh, the rest of the car uh, starts up. Okay, so you see all the diagnostics uh, light are all there. Then finally put your foot on the brake, and then press the button to start up the car. So this is the proper way to start up the car. Make sure that uh, make sure that you get, uh, make sure that you get uh, all the diagnostics done uh, before. Starting up the engine. Asia SE, do an advance, do get uh, this new look uh, meter panel, white, the meter with white uh, lettering. Okay, so you have tachometer, speedometer, and then you have your multi info display down there. The multi info display, uh, multi info display has only one uh, lever down here. This car has clocked 14,088 kilometers um, press the thing once it will show the trip meter trip meter can be reset by pressing this lever down here and then it will set to zero zero okay so after that continue to drive to clock the mileage so trip meter uh, trip meter is there for you for you to measure how far uh, each of your trip you have made uh, for personally, uh, for myself, I use I reset the trip meter each time I refill the tank to the brim, so I know how far how far I travel uh, for this uh, particular tank full of petrol. Okay, so pressing it one more time. This is average kilometer per liter. So reset by pushing this lever down. Once it has already uh, reset, and it goes like this. Then you need to drive about five to five to eight kilometers to get the average reading again one more uh, uh, again. So average reading uh, reads in kilometer per liter. The higher the number, the better your uh, fuel consumption. Pressing one more time, this one shows the current fuel consumption also in kilometer per liter. The car need to be driven in order to see the reading down here. Okay, uh, driven means the car need to be, need, need to move uh, The car need to move to to show the uh, to show the reading. Uh, after that is range. This car uh, this car has half tank, so uh, half tank full of petrol, so it can travel. Uh, it tells me it can travel 131 kilometer before it runs out of uh, petrol. Okay, so this one cannot be reset. Uh, push it one more time. This one shows the service uh, interval reminder. Currently is off. To turn it on, just press and hold on the lever, and then it shows uh, one choice, which is ten thousand kilometer. So that means now your car will start counting ten thousand kilometer. So when the ten thousand kilometer is up, you get the you get uh, this little wrench or. Malaysian language, uh, English, they call it Spana. The Spana logo will show up. So this will alert you that your car need to, need to service. So this one, usually the service center will set it for you. So if you don't want this reading, you just uh, press it, press the lever down, hold it down. Then it will now show off. When it shows off, your, your car is no longer counting uh, service interval. 
so that means you have to monitor the odometer all the time to tell when your car needs service okay uh, now with the auto meet with the meter set to auto meter uh, press and hold down the lever you can access the eco mode of the car the, uh, it is best advisable to set the eco mode on so that uh, when you so that you get a better fuel con you get a, you get a better fuel consumption um, in this case and you and when the car is moving you will see a eco a green color uh, eco light uh, on your dashboard eco mode can be turned off so uh, sorry eco mode can be turned off by coming to odometer press the lever hold it down then you see eco on release the lever press down again and hold it down it will go to off so right now that means eco mode is off and then if you leave it like that don't touch it leave it a while it goes back to uh, odometer means you have technically turned off the uh, eco mode okay so press again and uh, let's turn it back on okay turn it back on uh, i've just turned on the eco mode i'm going to leave it like that okay so that is the eco mode all right then uh, asia uh, in fact uh, all uh, in fact uh, all asia except the standard e which means uh, asia standard g asia uh, se and asia advanced do get electric uh, electrical uh, adjustment for the side mirror so this button here selects the left or the right the left means um that mirror over there that is the left and this one here is the right hand side mirror so uh select the right hand side mirror because uh it's on this side it's easier for me to show you so push the push this lever all the way down the lever is down down to this one for right then you want the mirror to be adjusted to the right press the right press the left to adjust it to left press it down to bring it down press it up to bring it up to adjust your mirror so once you're happy with the position uh, push it to the center like this to turn off okay to lock the mirror so it center means lock the mirror so if i start pressing any of these uh, keys or children were to play with this the mirror will not be uh, will not be accidentally adjusted Okay, so lock by setting it to the middle. Asia standard G, S, E, and advanced do get this button here to fold to fold in the mirror electronically like this. Okay, and then this is of course the engine start stop button. We cover this just now, and then the last one is your front parking sensor. Front parking sensor turn on, the light will light up. So if anything, up, uh, if you are too close to any front obstruction. The beep, the the warning beeper would uh would sound. It sounds like this, uh. uh it sounds like that beep at that time. It beep 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 indicate that there's a obstruction on the front. So uh this is to turn on. This is to turn off the front parking sensor. This is a little storage down here. Then on the right stop, you get your light control. So every light is off right now. This one turns on the position lamp. So position lamp turns on. You see uh, the meter actually brighter a bit. One. Okay, the meter brighten up. Uh, okay, and then this is the main headlight. Sorry, there was a there is a email that just popped out on my phone. So I thought the the. I thought the camera has been turned off, but actually the camera is still actually still recording. Uh. Okay, so uh, this one, uh, sorry. So to continue, uh, the light, the main headlight is on. Then for high beam, high beam, just uh, push the lever down like that for high beam. So high beam already activated, and then pull the thing back this way for uh, normal beam, and then to flash, you just pull the lever towards you to flash the beam so pull it inwards uh i'm not going to do it because there are people across the road so in the the light might might uh, uh, uh might, might make them might, might antagonize them okay uh they thought maybe i'm doing i'm, I'm signaling them for something okay anyway 
the headlight is still on. This one here is an add-on for the Asia SE and Advance. So this is the fog lamp. Fog lamp is now off. Put this way, fog lamp is on. So fog lamp on, it have one extra uh, LED indication that the fog lamp is on. So fog lamp off, fog lamp on. Uh, even with the lights dim like this, the fog lamp is uh, can be turned on and turned off. Okay, let's off all the beams. And on the left stock, you have your wiper control. So quite standard wiper control. Um, wiper, if you pull it down a little bit, this is uh, non-contiguous movement. This one is contiguous movement, but slow. And then, uh, just put some water. And then if I pull it down, it's quick mode. Okay, so that's a wiper control. Pulling the lever towards you uh, turns on the front uh, washer and the wiper would activate a few rounds. And then the ASIA uh, Standard G, SE and Advanced do get this, uh, this knob here. This knob uh, activates your rear wiper. So rear wiper is off. This is rear wiper in non-contiguous movement. This is in regular movement. Okay, I'll show you through the rear view mirror. So wiper in non-contiguous move, like that. And then wiper in contiguous move, but slow movement, uh, like that. Uh. Okay, to activate the rear washer, push the lever down this way. Okay, then, then turn on the wiper manually to wipe it off. Okay, the rear washer activated like that. Then you just turn on the wiper to clean it up like this okay so that's the case then RCR SE gets you retain steering wheel just like the standard G uh, the extra part of the SE is there is a there is seems like a spot grip we call it spot grip in, down here and then you also get painted uh, steering wheel and then you still get two airbags so there's airbag and there's another airbag over there Okay, um, up here in the center console, you get your hazard light switch. So, hazard light switch. Okay, and you also get uh, a play a radio down here. So this radio plays a uh, Bluetooth radio, and uh, also not Bluetooth USB, USB, uh, USB Bluetooth and radio. Okay, the on button is here and then uh, I have done one one video on this uh, radio radio itself a little bit further down you get your different modes of your aircon main blower the main blower is here you also get uh, if you set it to this way this is main blower and floor floor I think come floor comes out from there and over there and then this one uh, floor only this is front demister and floor. Front demister actually the aircon comes out from there, down there. And then this one is for front demister only. Okay, I put it back to here. And then this one controls the aircon temperature. And then this one turns on the air condition. The speed, the fan speed itself. And then this button down here, uh, this one uh, this button is pressed down so indicated that aircon is on if you press it up the blower still blows but air condition has been turned off so after a while this will be blowing out hot air so now listen listen now for the aircon compressor coming on when I press on the aircon button ok turn it to slow like that Okay, aircon compressor is coming up, running already. Okay, then you have down there, you have your uh, aircon mode. This is recirculation. This is for fresh air. Then you get two cup, and uh, then you get a power point down here, together with some storage. And then you still have your cup holder. And then RCRSE gets the uh, chrome uh, gear shift knob. And then... Uh, four-speed automatic transmission for this car itself. Okay, I've turned off the car. Um, 
Now, you need to actually turn on the car and then to shift the lever. But sometimes, uh, uh, your car cannot be turned on, your engine cannot be on for some reason. And then you need to shift this lever to go to neutral position. So that maybe for towing or any, any, any reason, there is a shift lock button down here to make sure you're able to shift the gear to, uh, to neutral position. So you need to press this one and shift the gear at the same time so which i cannot do with one hand so i need to i need to pause the video to bring the gear out that way okay uh the gear has already been shifted to the neutral position okay um okay that means what i did was i just press this one down and with one hand and i shift it to neutral with another hand then you have your brakes and then you also have the cup holder uh down there for the rear middle passenger Okay, then uh, Asia has one more extra feature. I just let me just turn on turn back on the engine. Okay, Asia has a lane change feature. That means if you push the 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 turn signal stock a little bit up like this, the signal blink three times to indicate lane change, and then you can do so for the right hand side. Pull down a little bit, uh, right hand side okay so that's how it goes then you have uh asia comes with uh the what do you call it this uh sun the the, the sunshade so sunshade is on the passenger side doesn't come with the mirror but on the driver side it do come with a mirror uh down here then you have your light down here this light is now set to door mode i push the switch to, 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 to that side so door opens light comes on once you close the light goes off and then put into the middle this is permanent off the door open okay no light this is permanent on okay then you have your rear view mirror uh this one sets the thing to the night mode so I set to day mode okay so uh there's so much so for the front part of this car so let's go to the back and have a, and we'll continue after this. Okay, then at the side, you have your, your lever to adjust the seat back. Okay, then this one is just a seat height. Seat height can be adjusted by bringing up the seat, by pulling up this way, just to bring up the seat. And then this one brings down the seat. Then you have a bar underneath here to adjust the seat position. And down here, you have your lever to open the petrol filler, the petrol filler tank. At the back of the car, the back door, you still get your door handle lock. Then this part, the door handle is down here. Then you get power window control. Then there's a bottle holder, a storage, and then the speaker for the rear passenger. I have already I've set the front seat to my height. I'm 178 centimeters tall. I still have that much of uh, leg room between here, and I have uh, from here to here, from here to here. This height, this much of headroom left. So the shopping hooks down here. There's also shopping hook down there on that side of the on that seat too. There are two shopping hook. And then this one is an anti snatch hook. So anti snatch hook. So to to operate it, press down this button, lift this one up, and then the uh, then you can slot in uh, for female pass for female drivers. You can slot in the handbag uh, strap down here. Then just close it down, and then it's near impossible to uh, to remove whatever that's been. Uh, secured by this lock itself. So this is the anti-snatch lock. So button, push down, lift it up that way. Okay, there are seat pockets for the front uh, passenger on both sides. Then the tools are stored underneath the uh, driver's seat. The rear carpet, I think Soka has removed the rear carpet for some for some reason. I don't know why they have they have taken off the 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 rear carpet itself. Oh yes, uh, the headrest can be adjusted by pulling in this uh, button to bring down the 
hit rest and then hit rest raise up by pushing up like this. The rear, uh, the rear passenger, there is a hit rest. Okay, the hit rest. Okay, there's a hit rest. The hit rest can be lifted up by lifting it this way and pushing down this way. There's a leave. There's a catch for you to release the hit rest, but it's hidden underneath there. Uh, you can see better for that one down there. So there's a hit rest. Uh, release button to uh, press in and lift it up otherwise uh, you can just fold it down like that I'm going to fold down because I want to put down the the, the back seat itself now the seat belt for the Asia uh, rear passenger is very easy just pull it down this way okay pull it down this way and then anchor and then you can just release by pushing that that, that one there the rear passenger, the rear seat, the rear passenger, the middle seat belt, you have to un, you have to unattach the anchor from from up there, and then this one you need you need to twist it this way to take it off because it has a it has a latch of this kind, and the groove at the back is like that kind down there. Okay, and because it had this anchor point, this little anchor like that kind of shape, it goes into. Up there, so there's a lot of steps to take to uh, to use it for the first time. There are two buckle like this kind. There's a silver, the silver square headed, and this little shape uh, like this. So this one pull down, pull down, and there is one uh, buckle attached with only one with only a hole like this. So uh, push it in like that until it clicks. So once it's done, make sure. Uh, make sure the seat belt is in. Make sure the seat belt is not folded anyway. Then take this one and look for the one that says center. This one says center. So push in like this. So now the ASIA become a three point seat belt. One, two, three. Three point seat belt. Then to release, press this one here. Release. And then to release this one. You need to turn the the buckle this this way, and then take this silver one and put it push it into this hole here like this. So pull down a little bit, and then push this one into the into the slot like this. It's very difficult to do it one hand. So once you have done that. We have very difficult to do it one hand. Okay, I managed to get it in, but I need both hands to do that. So push this one into the into the into the latch, like into the little gap, and then this one comes out. Okay, so retract it up like this, and after that, I better do it from the back of the car. It's easier to do from the back of the car. Okay, the Asia seat belt can be for the side seat belt can be stowed under this clip down here, like this, so that the so that the seat belt so that the seat belt gets out of the way when you fold down the rear seat. See, I need to do on that side. Okay, on this side, uh, anchor the seat belt into this clip down here, like this. Move everything out of position. This one can go up there, then anchor the seat belt like this kind, so that it clears the the way to fold down your seat afterwards. Okay, the Asia tailgate can be opened this way, and there is a strap down here you can undo, so that this one will this will be flat. Now this is easier to do from from this end, so. Uh, to store the belt, push it down here like this. Next comes a bit tricky part because this you need to slot this one into the gap 
down there so you can do it like this okay I have slotted in there but I need both hands to do it easier one hand very difficult to do uh, so um, so the so this so this piece has has gone into that gap so that I can slowly adjust and then anchor the belt into here but first take this one take this one make it go in like, like this and then you turn it flat so that it stays anchored in there and then this one align align this back with this groove down here so that it so that it stows like this okay so it stows like this and then this one if it comes out just reattach back so you have so what I did was I I, I anchor that the that, that pack into the hole down here so that it remains in this position so it remains like that to keep it out of view okay so this is the this is the uh, the rear parcel shelf the rear parcel shelf for us here has a uh, has has the two strings attached so that you can take it up and attach into here Okay, so this one easy to do by one hand. Okay, so once you've done that, attach it up there, so the parcel shelf can be can go up like that. Okay, uh, to fold down the the Asia rear seat, you have to undo this latch like this and this latch like this at the, both at the same time. So I'm going to pause the video and do it. I have released the the latch on that side. And also the latch on this side so right now I can push the seat all the way down lower it down like 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 that okay so the seat now has been uh, lowered down to, his, to the fullest uh, position okay so I've lowered it down uh, the rear seat doesn't fall flat so you can see that there is still the gap like that kind doesn't fall flat okay and then to return the seat just leave it up and anchor it on both sides okay the seat has been anchored back on both sides okay let me just put back this one and let me just put back this one okay so uh, the rear seat because it's only one piece uh, so it falls down as a single piece so you need so definitely so therefore I need both hands to do it and then underneath there is the spare tire uh, for this car itself okay so uh, the, the jack and the spare tire is underneath here so uh, it's quite standard for all Asia okay so this is so much so for this Borodua Asia SE 1.0 uh, year 2018 so I hope this video helps uh, to my next video thank you for watching bye bye